All right, let me show you guys another example. This time, I want to solve tangent theta is equal to negative square root of 3. All right, let's go ahead and use the definition of tangent. We are going to use y over x for the definition of tangent in this case, right? Not the usual opposite of adjacent. And you see, we are given that tangent theta is equal to negative square root 3. This is no good because I need to look at this as a fraction so I can mix and match, right? So let me write this as negative square root 3. Let me put the negative on the top first and then over 1. And when we are looking at negative square root 3 as this, I can say let's first take y to be negative square root of 3. And we are going to take x to be positive 1. And from here, we can come up with a picture, right? Let's go ahead and do so right here. In this case, we know x is equal to 1, so it's positive 1, so it's going to be right here. And let me just label this as x equal to 1. And the y is equal to negative square root 3. That means I have to go down below square root of 3 like this. And let me just say this much is negative square root of 3 for the y value. And you know I will draw a line like this for the hypotenuse, and this is pretty much a special right triangle. You can see it already, right? Uh, if you want to finish this, R will be past the 2. But in this case, we don't really care about the ratio of the sides. We care about the angles. Right, this right here is once again the 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. This is the longer leg, so that means this angle, which is my reference angle, this is going to be 60 degrees, right? This is my 60 degrees. However, this is not the answer because for you to come with the answer for the theta, it goes from 0 to 360 degrees, right? And it's measured it from the past the x axis and you rotate it to the terminal side. This was my um, reference angle, pretty much, right? But, anyways, you know the whole thing. It's going to be 360, but this much was 60 already. That means the angle theta is 300 degrees. And that's the first answer. Theta equals to 300 degrees. We do have another answer. Because earlier, I just put the negative on the top. I could have write this down as square root of 3 plus the on the top like this over negative 1. Because this way, I can say I can take x to be negative 1 and y to be square root of 3. So let's put that down. y equals to square root of 3 and x equals to negative 1. Okay? And now, based on this, I will draw another picture. This time, x is equal to negative 1. So that means I will go like this, right? Negative 1 like here. And y is equal to square root of 3. So that means it's going to be going up like this now. This is square root of 3, for example. And connect the dots right here. 30, 60, 90 special right triangle again. You know this is going to be r is equal to 2. Doesn't really matter that much. But you know this right here, it's 60 degrees. All right, the deal is you have to measure the angle from the past the x axis to the terminal side. So you go from here to here. This time, the whole thing for a straight line, it would be 180, right? But this is 60 already. That means the angle here, it has to be 120 degrees. And here we have it. This is the other answer. Two answers. 300 degrees and 120 degrees. And be sure you draw a picture to make everything clear. That's it.